today we're making this beautiful no churn ice cream cake with cookies and cream inside layered with brownies and sandwich cookies <gasps> heavenly now see how we make it just keep watching and maybe subscribe if you want thanks so to start, you're gonna to wanna to whip together two cups of heavy cream, along with one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. You can do it in your stand mixer or a hand mixer. Um, but yeah, you're gonna to wanna to whip this, you're gonna to wanna to whip this to stiff peaks, but to make sure not to over whip it, or else you're gonna end up with butter. And you don't want butter, because that's not pleasant. Unless you're looking for butter, and then, you know, but we want ice cream. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna let this whip on high for a couple minutes and just like that it's done so you'll see it has nice stiff peaks in there looks good all right so next you're going to add one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk and you're going to carefully fold this in to your whipped cream all right, so you're going to mix this carefully until it's all fully incorporated mm, looks good already <laughs> All right, so once you got it all folded together, give it a taste. So good already. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna set this aside. Then you're gonna wanna take a dozen or so of the chocolate sandwich cookies with the vanilla cream. You know, that shall remain nameless. <laughs> all right, they're Oreos, but whatever. All right, so now we're just gonna mash these up with the rolling pin. You break them into tiny pieces. Or if you want a nice and chunky. Different size pieces makes it better. All right, so, let's get it all broken up. All right, we're ready now to fold these into our ice cream. Like this. We're gonna pour this whole big mixture right in there. So you see the big crumbs, little crumbs. Now it's cookies and cream. Yum. All right, so we're gonna fold this all together. Look at that. Doesn't that look yummy already? Oh, look at all those little pieces in there. Oh, yum. So exciting. All right, so yeah, look at that. You have cookies and cream ice cream. So easy. We could freeze this, but we're not going to stop there. Oh no. All right. So next, you're going to want to line a cheesecake form pan with a little wax paper. Right? It doesn't have to be an exact science. And then you want to put in some cake. Uh, could be chocolate cake, vanilla cake, whatever you kind you want. I'm actually going to use brownies. I bought these already made, so because I don't feel like making brownies. <laughs> <laughs> and these are going to work very well for this. So you want to press them into the bottom so you get the whole bottom nice and coated and covered. I'm sorry. All right. So we're going to play with this so we cover the entire bottom and not cover our fingers. <laughs> Just like that. The next, we're going to drizzle a little bit of a fudge sauce. You can use Hershey syrup or something like that. Like chocolate sauce works nice. But we're going to do hot fudge because why not? Just a little bit of a coating, okay, because what we're going to do next is we're going to add a layer of those sandwich cookies. So we're going to do this all around the bottom, because why wouldn't you want it to cut into an ice cream cake and have, you know, Oreos right in the middle of it, right? Doesn't that sound good? Because <laughs> it is. <laughs> all right, so we're going to completely cover the bottom with these cookies. Just like that. I think I want to press the cookies down a little bit. All right, if they break, it's okay. Because they're gonna break when you cut them anyway, right? <laughs> All right, so now once you got like that, you're ready to start adding the ice cream you just made. So we're gonna do a nice layer of this cookies and cream. Oh, look at all those cookies. Oh, yum. I just want to get that right in there. All 
All right, we're going to want to fill this to the top. All right, so we're going to keep doing that. All right, so once you got it all coated, we're going to want to stamp it a little bit. Just make sure we get rid of any air bubbles. All right, and then you're going to want to smooth out the top. Best as you can. Nobody will judge you if there's little streaks or something. I wouldn't. And if somebody judges you, then they don't get any cake. <laughs> All right, so just like that. Oh, this is going to be so good. All right. And there you have the beginnings of your ice cream cake. All right, so now we're going to want to tightly wrap this with some plastic wrap. And into the freezer, it's going to go. You want to do it for at least 12 hours. Um, but ideally overnight or, you know, 24 hours, that could work too. Oh, we have some fudge sauce left. Let's drizzle some of this on top. Give it a little creative element here. Ooh, now it's looking fancy. <laughs> We're going fancy town. Let's see. You can make some really impressive looking desserts and it doesn't really take any time at all. This so far has taken me less than a half hour from start to finish. You know, it's the waiting part that's going to be the hardest. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ah, doesn't that look pretty now? All right. So we're going to wrap it tightly with some plastic wrap. And into the freezer, it's going to go, let's say, 24 hours. You know, you know I don't know if I could wait that long. <laughs> All right. We'll see you tomorrow, buddy. <laughs> All right, so we've allowed this to freeze for actually a couple days. <laughs> I had to work. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to leave this on the countertop for a little bit because it's not going to pop out on its own. Um, it's pretty frozen solid. So we're going to leave this out for about 45 minutes to an hour, and then we're going to pop it out of the spring form. <gasps> but look at it. Doesn't that look good? Yes. Yes, it does. Mmm. Plastic wrap got stuck on some of the fudge, but it's all good. All right, so we're actually able to pop it out of the spring form after a few minutes. <gasps> but look at it. See the cookies, the brownie, the ice cream. Oh, oh, this looks amazing. But we still got to let, you know, sit for about an hour before you can cut it. Just like regu a regular ice cream cake. <gasps> but oh my gosh, I can't wait. I can't wait. But since we have to wait, it might as well be cocktail time. That's right. Yeah. All right, for today's ultra creamy mudslide martini, we're gonna do one and a half ounces of Kahlua or coffee liqueur. One and a half ounces of vanilla, vanilla vodka. And two ounces of Irish cream liqueur. All right, so it's shaky, shaky time. And we pour. Look how thick and creamy that is. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Yum. Yum. Cheers. Ah, oh, so creamy and delicious. It's like a milkshake. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is gonna go so good with that ice cream cake if it makes it that far. <laughs> so if you make this trick at home, let us know. Cheers. All right, so this has been sitting out for about an hour, so we're ready to cut the first slice. <gasps> oh, why am I cutting such a small slice? <laughs> Let's see how it looks. Let's see. We'll cut all the wax paper. <gasps> here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, look at it. Look at that. Does that, <laughs> does that not look delicious? Oh, can't wait. <laughs> All right, it's taste test time. Oh, look at this. Oh, try to break through the cookie. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, yum. Yum. So good. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> So creamy. Oh, that cookie, the brownie, that, but that ice cream is out of this world and so ridiculously easy to make. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So if you try this recipe, let us know. 
Oh my gosh, this is so good. I already ate half it. Mm. Oh, Lulu, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. You can have this, this has chocolate. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes? <laughs> I I made you I made you special ice cream, Lulu, I promise. I made you special ice cream without the chocolate, I promise. Alright? <sighs> I made ice cream for everybody. Sheesh. And as promised, here's Lulu's ice cream. There we go. You enjoy. Yay. Is that good? I did good. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks!